What's up, shit smokers? This is Long Ashes at CrapCigar.com, and uh, with me as always is Nubs. What's up? And the Ashtray. I am the Ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. It's probably all you're here. Speaking of things smelling nasty, uh, the cigar we're smoking this week is the Peloto Cubano. You can get these in your Po' Boy sampler of the Cigars International. It's a sampler of uh, 30 really crappy cigars. I don't think I've found a good one yet in that sampler, but, you know, we're still looking. There's still a few left that we haven't reviewed. So there's still hope. There's still hope. Uh, like, like the other uh, cigars in the Po' Boy sampler, it's a Dominican. Uh, this one's a little bit different, where it's actually a Dominican filler. Of course, it says Cuban seed like everything else. But uh, it's an Ecuadorian-grown uh, wrapper. And it, they said that it actually has a nice oily sheen to it, but, you know, it doesn't look like that at all. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here real quick, see if you can actually see this. But, I mean, if you look at it, it's pretty dry looking, honestly. And it's been in my humidor for... Yeah, I don't know how many months now. See if they can pick up on the color difference with this. Yeah, you can tell that right away. If you look, these came from the same batch, but one is a darker brown and this one's a lighter brown. They said it's supposed to be a Connecticut shade wrapper, but as you can see, the one on the top that uh, Ashtray has definitely looks more Maduro looking, or natural looking at least, than the Connecticut. Yeah, there's no consistency to the color on the on Also, the Nubs, if you want to show yours real quick, what happened to yours? Yeah, mine kind of, I don't know if you guys can move it over a little bit more. See that there? There you go. It kind of uh, looks like it, the uh, wrapper. Look at that. Looks it like tore it apart right there. tore apart right there. I kind of tried the to fix it. The binder is exposed. Tried to fix it a little bit. And that's when it wasn't out of the uh, cellophane. Or I just happened to look at it and I'm like, what the hell, man? That's fucked up. It's all nasty and torn up. Yeah, the, the smell, we smelled it earlier, uh, we all kind of agreed it, it smells like a nasty rotten bag of uh, old potatoes sitting out like in your barn or something. It has that barnyard smell, but it's like a, a, another level up from a barnyard smell. It's like even worse than that. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Man, it's horrible. But uh, this review is, we're going to try it. Try a new thing here. Uh, you know, we're not going to do this all the time, but uh, we're going to try a completely unbiased review. We're not going to talk to each other about uh, what we think about the cigar at all. And each of us are going to come in one at a time uh, it, in each break to talk about the cigar, and none of us will hear what the other person says. Of course, we'll be smoking in the room uh, together in between takes, but we will not talk about the cigar at all. So it was just kind of interesting thing, you know, when you get uh, some people together to form an opinion, sometimes opinions slightly change because you hear other people's ideas or opinions. And that, while that's not necessarily a bad thing, uh, you know, it can actually interfere with uh, your overall opinion of something. So we're going to just try this out. It's not something we're going to do every time, but just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clip them and light them up, and when we come back, we're going to have uh, Astray come in first and talk about what he thinks of the first uh, part of the cigar, and then we'll go from there. Be back in a second. Hey, what's up? I'm back, and uh, I'm smoking the Palato Cubana. It's, uh, you know, the smell of it, there really wasn't a lot there, a lot involved with that. Uh, just a real plain smell to it. Uh, as I'm smoking it, there's not really a lot of taste, unfortunately. It's, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, you know, it's it's... Just real bland, not a lot to it at all. The draw on it, on this particular one, is not that bad. Uh, the consistency with this thing, with the, with the color and the way they were produced, uh, as you can see before from the examples we showed, you know, it was, uh, it was just kind of hit or miss, whatever you get with that. And, uh, you know, the, the, the construction of my cigar is actually held up pretty well as opposed to uh, Nub's, which his is, looks pretty chewed up. Uh, like I said, the draw's not bad. The smoke on it on it's kind of bland. Uh, you get the general cigar flavor that you get uh, with any cigar with this particular smoke. Uh, and then it's, 
it's just really not a lot to it. It's it's not it's not very uh, complex to it or or much flavor. No, I know in the description from CI site they actually mentioned that there's creaminess to it. I'm hoping that I'm going to hit that, but uh, as it is now, I did just light this up, so I'm trying to formulate an opinion, but it's going to take a little more time of smoking this to, to really come up with anything. Right now, overall, just to reiterate what I just said, it's a uh, real bland type smoke, uh, smooth draw to it, but construction is not bad, uh, discoloration versus the others, and uh, hoping that I'm going to, you know, possibly hit a diamond in the rough with this, but you never know. Uh, I'm thinking probably not, but, but you know, I could be surprised. So let's uh, give it some time and, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll bring this back with, uh, I guess, long asses or nubs coming up with uh, their opinions as well. Thanks. Hey, what's up? I guess it's my turn. Uh, Piloto Cubano, Dominican fillers, and uh, Ecuadorian grown shitty ass wrapper. Yeah, that, that's right. This thing is a piece of shit. Just overall the smell of it, the it smells like a rotten bag of potatoes. The taste, it's even hard to describe it. It's it surpasses the uh, ammonia taste that you would normally get, you know, from a very green cigar, which is most of these are. They're not very fermented or anything, but this is really bad. It's Just trying to get our taste there. <clears throat> I know this is going to sound odd, but honestly, I think it actually tastes like the smell of freaking wet dog. Seriously, this is horrible. Uh, you know, this, uh, I, I really think that this is probably going to be shitty as shit uh, category. It's really bad. I mean, on the, on the bright side, you know, trying to find something that's a limelight of this, uh, you know, it's not harsh. Uh, it is having some burn issues. The ash is very flaky. If you look at Nub's cigar, he'll probably talk about that a little bit. It's completely falling apart on him. Uh, complete different discolorations of it. Uh, uh, ashtrays was dark. Mine's really light. So it's just total inconsistencies with this. Uh, very nasty smell. Even when it's burning, the burning smells nasty, and the uh, overall taste of it, just wet dog. That's really the only way I can describe that right now. Really bad. Uh, you know, even with a beer, it's just not helping at all, so pretty bad stuff. That's about it for uh, my take on the first part of the cigar. Uh, nubs will come in here next, and then uh, we'll smoke it for a little bit longer and come back in the middle of the review. and. And uh, give you some more information. What's up, everybody? Not for now. I'm back. It's it's Nubs, and uh, I want to talk about this cigar. It's a uh, it's like kind of falling apart on me. It's not really uh, that good of a cigar. It's it's got like a really bad draw on it. Uh, it's, the construction on it is just like, the whole thing is going to fall apart on me, I can tell. When, uh, when I pull this label off, I'm going to be pretty disappointed, because I've been, as I've been smoking it, it's, it's got like this big, huge, uh, like, crack on it here. Every time I take a, take a puff on it, like little, little pieces of the, the, uh, tobacco get in my mouth and it's like, you know, constantly trying to get that shit out of my mouth. Well, that's my opinion. Hey, I'm back. It's the middle of the cigar. Uh, you know, what I said earlier, I think uh, I'll take that back a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit better. Uh, you know, it's still smooth like before. You know, that was definitely not a problem. The burn issues have kind of fixed themselves, and uh, it, I am getting a little bit of cream there. Uh, I could probably see myself maybe smoking this uh, in the yard or something, or you know when, when I'm not really 
paying attention to it too much. It's not a complex cigar by any means, but uh, you know it's not bad for a dollar a stick. Uh, there's there's a lot worse that I've smoked before. Uh, you know I don't know what's going to happen towards the end of the cigar. It was pretty horrible in the very beginning, and it worked itself out a little bit. But uh, you know I'm going to keep smoking it. Hopefully it'll just stay the same, and you know we'll end it at that, and it'll just be an okay cigar, which is fine. But uh, you know, if it gets worse, I'll definitely uh, note on that as well. So we keep smoking this, and uh, someone else is going to come in and talk about what they think of the cigar next, and I'll be back in a second. Hey, what's up? I'm back. I'm smoking the Palato Cubana. Uh, you know, it really hasn't changed much from the last time I made comments. Uh, it's really just a bland cigar, not much flavor to it at all, no complexity. Uh, you know, it's it's got a real good draw to it. The smoke on it. Uh, it's, it seems like it's you know somewhat uh, not that thick, so it, it's got a it's got a real good draw to it. Uh, seems to smoke pretty well. Bland though, not much taste at all. I think if they would have uh, maybe put a little more flavor into this cigar, it would be uh, could possibly be what I consider a diamond in the rough if it did have flavor. Uh, unfortunately, since the flavor is lacking in the construction down toward the end is you can kind of see that a little bit, it's starting to peel up a little bit, so I got to knock it for that, but uh, all in all, I mean, it's not the shittiest of shit, it's not a, uh, a dog turd, I'd probably go with a yard gar on this for a rating, uh, you know, it's it's not that bad all in all, I'm, I'll go ahead and take another draw here. Yeah, you're just really picking up the just a cigar taste in general that you get from a lot of uh, you know regular cigars that don't have much uh, complexity to them. So it's it's not really that harsh or anything like that. Pretty smooth, uh, nice draw, but lacks flavor. So uh, definitely a yard gar on this one. Anyway, that's where I'm at, and uh, I'm going to keep smoking it down to the nub. I don't think my opinion is going to change, but if it does, I'll let you know. So everybody, I'm back. Um, this cigar is definitely pretty horrible. It's falling apart on me. The construction is, I think you see there, it's falling apart, flaking on me. Um, I would not smoke this cigar like during the day or any any time it's it's crap it's got a real nasty taste to it uh, it's got a real bad leaves a real bad aftertaste I ain't got anything to drink so I'm gonna kind of rough it out here hey what's up my turn again um, finishing up the cigar overall uh, I would not give this cigar a very high rating at all. In the very beginning, it was complete ass. It, like I said before, it, it to me it tasted like some kind of wet dog of some sort. Pretty bad. The smell of it was just uh, screaming of uh, rotten potatoes. Uh, the burn was really messed up on mine in the very beginning, and uh, it it mellowed out a little bit. Throughout the whole cigar, it was, <clears throat> it was pretty smooth. So I can't really, uh, you know, say anything against that. But towards the middle of the cigar, I picked up a little bit. I got a little bit of cream and spice there, but not really anything too complex. Maybe something out in the yard that, uh, you know, I would use or something when you're not really wanting to pay attention to the cigar. But uh, to, when I got down towards the end of the cigar, that nasty taste kind of came back again. So you get like a little bit of a okay taste there in the middle, and then it kind of craps out again. So... Overall, I would say this is kind of in between a yard guard and a dog turd, for myself anyway. But uh, I would probably wouldn't buy this again. It is only a buck a stick, so you have to kind of look at it at, uh, from that viewpoint too. But, uh, this is Long Ashes of CrapCigar.com, and we smoke the shit, so you don't have to.